welcome to this tutorial, the part three of sliding panels. And this one I'm dealing with text layers. This is the effect that I want to create. I'm going to have uh, some text layers on top of the, each panel. The uh, text is going to move around and it's going to move with the panel that it's associated with. And when I get done with it, I'm going to come back and then we're going to rotate. And that's it. Now, we started out in the basic tutorial with four panels that, wrote, that tilted as one unit. They moved and kept the same perspective as the rotation point and then tilted back. And all we're going to do is add text on top of that. Now, we're going to add a text layer. I'm going to give it some text. And our text layer is created at the same size and aspect as the screen. So there's a one-to-one -one correlation on things. My rotation center is going to be here. That's minus 20. But I want my text to be somewhere else. So I'm going to go to the text layer settings, or text settings. And this is where we're moving the um, caption itself around using the caption controls. Not the layer controls, but the caption controls. So I want a position of 20. Now how did I get 20? Well, text starts from the left to the right, and if I add 50 to get to the center, and add the minus 30, I get 20. This panel is located at minus 30. Okay, I haven't done anything else. I'm going to go back to the effects for the time being. I'm going to add five keyframes. I'm going to give it a horizontal tilt at keyframe 2, and I'm going to hold that tilt until keyframe 5. At keyframe 6, I'm going to go back to a tilt of 0. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add some time, 0.75, and I'm going to add three keyframes, and I'm going to position them at 5.5, 5.6, and 6.25. Okay, now I'm going to select keyframe 1, go to my text settings. Now, all I'm going to do is set my uh, keyframe settings up. And once I've got all the keyframe settings done, um, all my keyframes set up, I'm just going to duplicate the layer and um, make adjustments to the next one as necessary. Saves myself some work. So it also helps to have a little bit of planning ahead of time. So I'm going to start at 2050. I'm going to stay at 2050 at keyframe 2. When I get to keyframe 3, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to keep it at 20 and I'm going to adjust this to 15. When I get to here, notice that the white panel has now moved over here. Well, I'm going to keep this at 15, but I'm going to move the key frame, or move the text over to 80. How do I get 80? Well, 50, up to the screen center, plus 30, because it's located at 30, is 80. And that gives me the 80 here. Get to keyframe 5, and I'm going to go 30, I mean uh, 80 and I'm going to come down to um, 85. The panels are going to switch back, so I'm going to be at 85 and 80. At keyframe 7, I'm going to move back up to 80 and 50, and then I'm going to keep that 80-50 for the entire panel, or entire time, so for the last few keyframes. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to the effects, and this is where I'm going to actually treat it as a caption, or a regular layer. 
keyframe 7. I'm going to hold my rotation center to 20. I'm going to go to keyframe 10, or keyframe 8, and I'm going to change this 20 to a 30. Notice the location of the rotation center point is now here. Okay, but I'm also going to set this rotate to 0 because from 0 to 9, I'm going to rotate that layer to 90 degrees. I'm going to keep 9 as uh, a rotation center as automatic, and I'm going to change it to a rotate here of 90, and I'm going to put this back to 30. So there you have it. Moves up, moves with the panel, comes down, moves back, comes to center, and then rotates. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to duplicate this layer and keep it as a text layer whose text is going to change to panel B. Now these don't represent titles, they're, act they're the actual caption just like if you had a regular caption layer. I could attach a title to this if I wanted, but for purposes, purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to do so. Now in this case I want to have uh, the uh, text effects selected. I want to move panel B over to 40. How do I get 40? 50 plus a minus 10, because this is located at minus 10, gives me 40. So there's my 40. So I want to keep this at 40. This is going to go 40. I don't want 15, but I do want 35. Now we've moved across the screen. I'm going to be at 60. How do I get 60? Total distance of 50 to half screen plus this panel's position, which is plus 10, so that gives me 60, hence there. Now, I want this to be at 35. This is going to be 65, and this is going to be at 60. Again, 60, 65. Going to the center, so this is going to go to 60. And it's going to hold 60 until I get to here. Now, go to keyframe 8. Let's go to the effects tab. And I don't want 30 anymore, I want 10. Because that's where this position, that's where this panel is located, is at 10. And I'm choosing this 10, the rotation center of 10, for a layer which is one to one with the screen. So this is located at 10, so the rotation center is going to be located at 10. And I'm going to hold it to 10 for the entire duration here. So pretty cool, huh? Let's do one last layer. Duplicate. Let's change the text. I'll make this panel C. Let's go back to here. Now, panel C is going to be located at 60. Again, it's 50 plus the location of this panel, 10. So, 50 plus 10 is 60. This is going to be the, basically the opposite of panel C. So, it'll be 60, 60, and 65. Now, this is going to be 65 and 40. Forty and thirty-five. Thirty-five and forty. Going to come back to the screen center. This is going to be forty, and it's going to hold forty to the end. Go to effects, and I'm going to need a minus ten. Come here to eight and it's going to be a minus 10 because that's where this panel is located, minus 10. Let's duplicate panel C, duplicate, 
let's rename, let's uh, change the text, comes D. Let's go to each of these text settings and change those to the default of 50. here. Now we're going to change its position to 30. Now since I just moved it 30 to the right, if I'm at 0 here, my rotation center is at minus 20, but I just moved it 30 to the right, so I need to add 30 to this rotation center. That's going to be minus 50. So now it's back. Okay, we go to here. This is going to be 30. Let's make this 0, and this is going to be still minus 50, and this is going to be 0. We'll go to keyframe 3. I'm still going to be at 30. I've got to go to the bottom of the screen, and that's 35. Now, how did, well, excuse me, let's go to the bottom of the screen, and that's 35. Let's make this minus 50 still. Now how did I get, oh, let's go to this minus 35 here. Now how did I get 35? Well the reason for it is because this, when it was over here, was at 85. 0 to 100. 85 plus 15 is 100. Since we're measuring from 0 to 50 here, 50 minus 15 gives me 35. Now, since we have a one-to-one -one correlation, if I'm moving the text layer down 35, I need to move its rotation center up by 35. That gives me this. That gives me the proper perspective. Okay, let's go to 4. It looks like my keyframe, or my uh, position, has to change to minus 30. I'm going to still keep 35 as my location. Now, since I'm at minus 30, and the rotation center is at minus 20, I'm going to do a minus, uh, the effective pan is actually then minus 20 minus a minus 30, which gives me 10. And my rotation center, since this is 35, it's going to move up. You can see it right here. I'm going to make this a minus 35, and everything's hunky dory fine. We come over here, I'm still going to be at 35. Well, actually, it's going to be a minus 35. And this is going to have to be a 35. But it's also going to be minus 30 here. And this is going to be a 10. Just like in the last keyframe. Now, come here. I'm still going to be at minus 30. My associated rotation center is going to be 10. This is still at minus 35, so this has to be at 35. Go to keyframe 7. I am at minus 30. This is going to 0. I am at 10. And this is at 0. Now, we're going to move here. This is going to be still at minus 30, but this is going to go to 0. I want it in the center of the uh, layer. And I am going to put this at minus 30 and this at 0. Keyframe 9 is going to be an automatic. So, now we're going to shut this off. Let's move the keyframe or the 
text layers to be with their associated panels. And there you have it. And that's our example. Thanks for watching. Now for some uh, concluding remarks. Text layers are layer objects in ProShow, with a few differences. By default, they're sized at a current size of the screen and at the same aspect. And that means there's a one-to-one -one correlation between the pan settings and the screen locations. Likewise, there's a relationship between pan and rotation center values. They're directly related. Text layer is unique in that the content is adjustable independent of the layer settings. You can move the caption or the text around without having to worry about the uh, layer settings themselves as far as the position and rotation center and stuff goes. Text layers have access to both caption and layer settings. You can position the caption without having to deal with the layer pan or its rotation settings, or you can use the layer settings alone to position the layer, or you can use them all together. They're unique, they're fun, and they're useful. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.